That thing is absolutely cool. She seems fine. Look at her. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Look at this beautiful albino Kunisher rat. Did a great shed. And what we basically do is we'll save these sheds, and oftentimes we just give them to kids when they come to the Reptarium. But take a look at how amazing that snake looks. I mean, that thing is absolutely incredible. And again, it's a snake that you won't see too often. I mean, it's a pretty rare animal in the sense that, you know, years ago, more and more of them were produced, but now you hardly ever see them. So hopefully in the future, we can produce some more and keep these guys around. But regardless, that shed is absolutely incredible. And I think that actually the jungle carpet had a nice shed today too. So that's a couple cool sheds that some kids are going to get at the Reptarium this weekend. Regardless, I hope the start of your day is amazing. What do you say we have a great day together? Super excited to be putting in the side pieces here. Remember, you used to be able to see the 2x4s. Now they're covered like this. We're getting all of the tanks set up. I still have some that have like kind of a little bit of a forest background. I want to kind of vary it, you know, forest, then I've got the cement, then I've got the forest again. Just kind of make it look really kind of awesome, but it's just cool to finally see how much different it looks when you put these in and start to finish them off. It's been a job that's been bugging me for a long time. So I am so happy that we're getting there with this one. Abasuku's had this stuck shed on her for a while. So I figured we'd go ahead and see if we could soak her. Maybe that'll help a little bit. It bugs me. I know that it's just part of keeping monitors, but I just I look at it and I'm like, oh, you gotta get up. So this ought to be fun. What do you say we try to soak Abasuku? So the thing with Abasuku is that it's very, very food driven. So once it realizes we're not food, I'm hoping that I'll get an opportunity to be able to pick her off. Cause I don't want to strong arm or, or struggle with her. Basically, you know, when she first came in, I was able to actually hold her. I'm hoping that that will happen now, but I don't know how this is gonna go. I have no idea. I just know that I don't want to be on the biting end of that mouth because that's an extremely, Oop. Come on girl, you're okay, you're okay. Okay, here we go. I'm in now, there's no turning back. It's actually not too bad, you know? She seems fine, look at her. Whoa. Okay, okay, we're gonna just put you in some nice warm water, girl. There you go, girl, there you go. All right, so we got her in some, oh, oh, oh. We got her in some nice warm water, which I think will be good for her. Uh-oh. We're okay, bud, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're all right. We're all right. We're all right. Okay. 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 We're nice and calm. Nice and calm. Big thing about monitors is you gotta kind of stay calm around them. <sighs> okay. Well, that didn't go quite as good as it started. I thought when it first started that she was doing really good. And then she got a little bit crazy on me here, but I really want to get all that shed skin off. So I wanted to soak her really good. So she's in here. She seems to have calmed down now. We'll probably give her like, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes in here. Then we'll come up and hopefully, uh, okay, it looks like I've got all my digits. <laughs> so we'll come back and we'll get her back in. That could be just as perilous as anything because now I have to lift her up from here and get her all the way up on top of here. But uh, didn't go too bad. I mean, I still have all my fingers. Real quick unboxing, actually yesterday when I got that shipment of ball pythons, I thought it was missing something because I remember talking to him about these particular animals and I reached out to him because when I looked at what he sent, it said they were in the ship and I was like, wait a second, they weren't in the ship and he was like, oh my God, I forgot to send them, I'll send these things. So there's really just two ball pythons in this box that were supposed to be in the shipment yesterday. So there you go, but no big deal. It's completely fine and but they are nice ones, so I'm super excited to see them. Oh, I take that back. There's actually three ball pythons in this bag. Oh, interesting. There's actually an albino that is het for piebald ball, ball python, and then there's this little monkey right here. This thing is really gorgeous. Take a look at that. That is actually a low white albino piebald ball, ball python. Oh my God, that thing is absolutely cool. Normally the low whites aren't that interesting, but look at the pattern on this one. That is super, super cool. So uh, anyways, uh, these were supposed to be in yesterday's shipment. They turned out today. So uh, there you go. So 
some more snakes. While Abasuku is soaking, I'm gonna give you a little update on Tupless, and I talked to a couple of my monitor friends, including Kevin, and uh, definitely getting thin, not eating. So they said that you can actually really gently just put something in its mouth, and I've been doing that for the last few days, and it's definitely looking much more alert, much more beefy. So every single day, I've been putting something in its mouth, and it actually takes it down. And uh, so really gently, come on, Toothless. So super gently, I'm just opening its dewlap here. And the thing that's nice is, is once it's in its mouth, it'll actually take it down on its own. So that's a really good sign. So it's starting to put a little bit more weight on it. And I really believe that it won't be long before it'll start eating on its own. We were just concerned the shipping back to New England might have been too much stress for this particular animal. So we thought, let's go ahead and give this a shot and see what happens. I have a feeling it's really gonna work. But again, uh, it's you can see how absolutely chill it is. And after a little while, it'll start to take it down on its own. Okay, so as you can see, Toothless will literally take it down on his own 100%. I just have to get it in his mouth. Not ideal, but again, I would rather do that and take my risk without the stress of shipping it back and potentially that killing the animal. So I think that it's doing really well. Again, every single day we're putting something in its mouth and it's taking it down on its own. So I really feel good that with all that extra nutrition, it's gonna turn around and uh, we've been soaking it every day, keeping it really hydrated. So I think Toothless is gonna be good. I'm feeling really good about this as long as we can keep that weight on him. That was what I was concerned about. About it. He went from looking kind of plump to looking kind of skinny really, really quick. Now he's starting to put a little bit more weight on. Trust me, he's nowhere near where we want him to be as far as chunkiness by any stretch, but he looks a lot better than he did even three or four days ago. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. His tongue response is great. His eyes look good. Everything looks good. His response is really good. He's digesting, moving it through his system good. So, okay, hopefully Toothless will be okay. Guess what, Eric? Guess what tomorrow is? What's that? It's Thursday? <laughs> it's the day that Lori and myself are actually going to pick up the two-headed snake. Yes! That's I know, awesome! I know, Dude, party at Beach B, man! <laughs> so it's going to be pretty exciting. We're actually heading down to my buddy's place. We're going to do a tour of his place. He's got a really cool reptile collection. It's going to be oh, really cool. And then we're going to pick up the two-headed snake. Oh, my God. So this weekend at the Reptarium, we're actually going to have a reveal for a two-headed snake. Oh, is that man, cool? Oh, man! This and, is too cool. And guess what else? Saturday, we have a big reveal, too. I can't tell you guys much about it, but it has to do with alligators. Oh, I like ready? it. Okay. I like all that stuff. All right, Heck good. Yeah. All right, so we got some fun stuff coming for you guys. Been about a half an hour, let's take a peek and see what's going on with Abasuku. Hey bud, how you doing? You okay? Can I can I pick you up real gently? Oh yeah, that's coming off really good. See that? Ooh. Gosh, she's definitely sketchy as heck, man. Okay, okay. I just want to get this shed off you if I can. Look at this. It's going to be better for you, bud. Okay. Still really stuck on there. I mean, it soaks all the time, too. Okay, Abasuku, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're up. Oh! Oh my gosh, that got sketchy for a second there. Okay. There you go, Abasuku. It looks a little better. I mean, I definitely got some more shed off, but... Okay. Oh, it doesn't look happy. Oh my God, Abasuku definitely does not look happy. Look at it, it's got his tail. But we got away pretty well. Didn't get all the shed off, but got some of the chunks off. We'll have to do this again. I, I don't know what else to do. I mean, that shed is on there pretty tight. And she spends so much time in her own water, you would think she certainly would be able to get it off. But uh, we'll keep trying. In the meantime, I'm happy with the results overall because I didn't get bit. No one got hurt, and uh, overall she looks a little bit better. Got some more packages from the post office for us, so I figured I would uh, let you guys open some things. Ooh, you this open is up like this. A picture frame. Yeah, this. You got that. Right. And uh, I'm gonna open up this really quick. This All right. Pretty fragile. Yeah. All right. Do you think it is? Yeah. This please. box, by the way, is really cool. Look at, uh, it's got tons of stickers on it and all kinds of stuff. So I have no idea what's gonna be in here, but I'm excited about it. Uh oh. So yeah. wait, wait, before we get started, whatever okay. we open, do we get to keep? 
The oh, person that opens no. it, you get to keep it if I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, that is oh, awesome. Man. Oh, this yeah. is obviously, is this from the UK then? Is that where Perfume. this is from? Does it say who it's from? For my mom, Victoria's Secret. There we go. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. No, I swear. Wow, that's pretty fancy. Hey, what are you trying? What are you, what what are you, you trying to do there? Um, <laughs> gosh, there's some flip. chocolate. I've got a little Melted. chili pepper. Dude, that's sweet. A little keychain. Okay. I gotta, I gotta do this. Uh, Open chocolate. I don't know. This is a chili pepper. It's but an earring. It's, 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 it's not an earring. It's, it's like right a, here on the it's box. A clip. There's no way you could have that. Oh, yeah, dude. No way you could get it right through there. Dude, in the 80s, that was very right. popular. I still don't know. Does it have anything? Oh, there's we another chili. We just got a bunch of, there's a bunch of chocolate. Dude, I'm pretty Let's sure they sent those chili. for me. Oh, that's chili chocolate. What chili the heck? Chili chocolate, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's like a big old storage box for the, uh, Oh, this is cool. This is famous underground. The underground. The underground. Oh, my God, it's like the, that's dope. Oh, my gosh, it's like a map of the tube. That's Which is pretty sweet. Awesome. Oh my gosh, that is sweet. So uh, unfortunately, it didn't say who sent this. There was nothing in there. Or was, is this it right here? Uh, I guess. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is oh, cool. this is, ah, uh, you know who this is from? It's from Jane. Jane Price. Oh, Jane, oh yeah. my gosh, I love yeah. you, Jane. Jane, you are wonderful. You're oh, amazing. Oh what's up, Jane? And there's a I little note, dear Brian. I sent you guys some gifts. I was also wanting you to get them personally. Thank you so much. This is this is awesome. Thank you. That's awesome. That, that was cool. That Dude, was this cool. one's from the freaking Deutschland, man. From get from Berlin or something. What Deutschland. is that? Deutschland is Berlin is Germany. It's I don't know. It's over there. <laughs> what do we got? Derelict Dardley. What do we got, Dylan? Oh, some authentic newspaper. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, let's see. This is a drawing. Half year ago. Uh, Rick and wow. about Rick and Morty. Look at that. That's an amazing photo. Look at this, guys. Wow. Check that out. That's awesome. So that is so cool. Thank you so much, Dilek. I appreciate it very, very much. Letter for Brian. And there's a lot to be said. My name is Kyla. Uh, I'm 24 years old woman from Jamestown, Michigan. I love your YouTube channel. Can't wait to come visit the Reptarium soon and get her over here, Fear of Snakes. So awesome. uh, thank you there so you much. Let's see what I got. Ooh, check oh, that out. There's a bunch of cool stamps. stamps. That's cool, because we do stamps for the Reptarium, so we can now we can change it up. Like one oh, night we do the nice. Reptarium, another night, that's awesome. There's all kinds There's of cool stuff There's a little hashtag in there. There's yeah, a little there hashtag. There's all kinds of, oh, that is awesome. Sweet. Got some toys, some little death for oh, you, Noah. Oh, man. Little, ducky. Oh, my gosh. This, oh, your mom's going to love that. Yeah, this your is going to be good. That is awesome. She's going to love that. That is for sure. This is super dope. Sweet. <laughs> the dogs hey, will love this. This will be good. The dogs will like that. All right, what else we got? love bracelet i love bracelets oh it's a little a red panda lego oh, type of set check that out how cool oh, yeah, is that sweet deadly creatures sticker book sticker that's book. awesome reptile amphibian sticker book i love it sweet. a bunch of cool stuff so thank you so much well anyways guys you always spoil us thank you i just want to do a quick unboxing of some things that you guys mailed us so you guys are wonderful that's awesome no? dude that is so cool thank that you. people reach out and do that thank you thank guys you. you guys are awesome all right now get back to work there was one last thing that i wanted to open along because i just think it's so amazing i can't wait to show Lori this ashley did this take a look at that right there of course those are my three sweethearts there, Zeusy, Artemis, and Phoebe, and unbelievable. Ashley said that she spent like nine weeks making these things perfect, and she did such an amazing job. We are absolutely gonna frame this. It's absolutely going up in either mine or Lori's office. So Ashley, thank you so much. This is absolutely incredible. You guys are so talented. You guys send me stuff all the time that just blows me away, and it makes me feel so good. So thank you guys for everything. Take a look at this albino chocolate California king snake. Oh my God. Gosh, that thing is so cool. We used to call these guys iridescent cows because they just kind of look like they have iridescence. And what it is, is the yellow pigment that kind of comes through it makes it look like it's almost in sheening. So that's why we called it iridescence cows. But they are so cool. And it's been a couple years since we produced them. So this little guy is going down into hibernation and hopefully here next year, we'll produce some albino ghosts or iridescent cow kings again, like we used to years ago. And today was great. You know, we got so much accomplished. You know, every day that goes by, we just check things off the lifts at the Reptarium. And you guys probably don't notice, but we're constantly working towards kind of what I would consider completion. And the fact is we only have a handful of things left to go. The gator tank is done. Big gator reveal this weekend with my friend Savannah from Gatorland. I am so excited. Tomorrow, I couldn't be more excited about picking up the two-headed California king snake adult that's about this big or actually even a little bit bigger. And we're going to get a tour of my friend's place. And to the best of my knowledge, he just doesn't let people video his stuff. So it's going to be 
a real treat. I am so excited about it. And all we have left at the Reptarium after that is the Arachnid Center, which I am really excited about. We're getting a couple new Arachnids next week, hopefully wrapping that thing up in the next week and a half or two weeks. And then, I don't know, we'll just kind of keep redoing stuff, I guess, you know, kind of upgrading. I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog because now I'm just rambling all over because I get excited even thinking about this stuff. I wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, your support is so, so important to me. Thank you guys. I love you so much. Do me a couple favors before we got here. Smash that like button. Turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Make sure to comment down below because as always, I love reading about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow and we're going to get a two-headed snake.